What's going on, Geeks and Gamers? This is Ryan with Dark Outpost, and welcome to Gaming with Geeks. And yesterday on this channel, we did a live reaction to the Xbox Game Showcase, the highly anticipated stream where we thought we would see everything that the Xbox Series X has in store. And let's face it, the only thing that most people cared about seeing was Halo Infinite, and they gave it to us right off the bat. Now, during that stream, everybody else was pretty excited about it. I was more reserved. It was basically, it didn't blow me away. It was kind of what I thought I would see from a Halo game. And since that stream in the past 24 hours, people have really been picking it apart. And it seems like for the most part, people are fairly unimpressed. And a lot of other things are coming out about this game that have people asking questions, including the fact that they're saying it's still a work in progress and what we can expect for the next 10 years playing Halo Infinite. So I wanted to start right here, just do a couple bullet points that people are talking about. And this is from Legacy Killer HD. Halo Infinite details since the Xbox game showcase. Start of a 10 year journey. Now what does that mean? That is talking about this, this, this interview that went around. Halo Infinite will represent the next 10 years of this series. There are no plans for sequels at any point in time. They are going to build around Halo Infinite. Now, what exactly will that mean? It's I In my mind, I envision a lot of DLCs for story, expanding this world, expanding this open world that we're going to see for Halo Infinite. It's an interesting concept, one that we do see a couple people going towards, uh, but that's a pretty bold move. The fact saying you are not going to have a sequel to Halo for the next... 10 years. That means a lot is riding on Halo Infinite. What else do we have here in these bullet points? Gameplay was played on a PC, which we're going to talk a little more about the gameplay and what we saw and why the fact that that was on PC could be pretty worrisome. May not be a public beta. This one right here, we're, this is not true. This is something people were talking about earlier today that has been debunked. Multiplayer may not be available at launch, and then they did come out and they said, nothing to see here, folks. This is not true. Uh, in some good news, Halo Community Director denies no multiplayer at launch rumor. And Microsoft responds to concerns, says the game is far from least release, launches in four months. That does have people concerned that maybe this game isn't going to be complete, isn't going to be ready, especially with all these rumors flying around. And you can see right here, yesterday's Halo Infinite gameplay reveal was a, quote, work in progress, Microsoft says. Now, we all know that it wasn't the finished product, but with when you've been working on it for this long and you're this close to the release, the idea that there's going to be some sort of huge upgrade by the time we do see the game um, has, has a lot of people skeptical. In fact, what we tend to see is a degradation of what we see in these kind of gameplay trailers. But let's go and look and see what this article says. Marketing GM Aaron Greenberg says the release version will be a visual showcase. Yesterday's big Halo Infinite reveal did not exactly blow us away. Not that it was bad, but as a centerpiece for a big E3-style game show, it felt lacking, or toothless, as some people put it. Aside from looking like it's a very safe, conventional Halo game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it really wasn't the visual firecracker we were expecting. And I agree. When we were watching it, I feel like a lot of people got their Halo heartstrings tugged. But for me, for someone who's not a huge Halo fan, I've enjoyed them, but I'm, I've never been like a diehard Halo person. To me, I just wasn't impressed. It didn't like it looked pretty, but it didn't look visually stunning at all. It didn't look next gen. And that's the thing. This is to launch your next gen console. This is to sell Xbox Series X. And it just did not look like that. That impression was reinforced by this actual official bad screenshot. Let's... Let's take a look at this. Um, this is the screenshot that they are talking about. This is an official released screenshot. This is not someone took a screenshot at a random thing. This is official from Xbox. They released this, Microsoft released this. And I, and I don't know if you can tell in the video, but to me, it looks terrible. Especially this brute right here. It, it looks like there is no texture, that there is no real life to this. It looks like this could be played on PS3. Uh, at the very least, you know, PS4 and Xbox One, right? But it, it looks last gen. It doesn't look next gen. And of course, during the trailer, there was also another screenshot captured, which you may recognize from the thumbnail. This one, which has been the source of countless memes already. Um, 
but a lot about this, it's not just the funny face, right? It's it's this emotionless kind of very bland face. The fact that there's no detail to it, but even look at the gun in this, there's almost no texture. And that's concerning to a lot of people when you're talking about this supposed to be the next step in gaming. It seems like we're taking a step back in a lot of ways, but let's continue on. The reason for that and what we saw Aaron Greenberg said in an interview with Inside Gaming is that it's not done yet. We're in the middle of a global pandemic. It's July. We're far from holiday season. You're seeing a work in progress. You probably watched the stream in 1080p. So we might so we have to put up a 4K60 on demand stream. So people, I'd say, go back and look at the game in 4K60, and, and a lot of people did. And I, I would say there wasn't a whole lot that changed for me between 1080p 60 FPS, which is what you streamed it in, and 4K 60 FPS. Uh, definitely didn't provide any more detail to me, in especially in those official release screenshots that you provided us. The official screenshots were the ones you gave us, not something that was just pulled off a 1080p stream. It's very hard to show the full power and graphic fidelity of what Xbox Series X will be able to deliver over a stream. Well, I, I suppose, I guess we'll have to see maybe the compression with YouTube. Maybe that is why it doesn't necessarily look stunning to so many people. It's a work in progress, what you're seeing today. And I can tell you because we see build check-ins every week to make progress week after week. So between now and holiday, it's just going to get better and better. He also promises that it's going to be a visual showcase at launch. And they're making promises. Let's hope that they can keep them. If the expectation is set too high, I could definitely see a lot of people being disappointed when this comes out. The fact that the gameplay was captured on a PC is disturbing. Why wasn't it captured on an Xbox Series X? Like, that to me is a huge deal as well. Why are you capturing on a computer when you're trying to sell Xbox Series X? I understand the fact that it's multi-platform and the cloud and everything. And that's one of the one of the features you're trying to sell people, but you need to sell Xbox Series X consoles. That's one of the that's the purpose of the stream you just showed us. And you let off with Halo Infinite. And to be honest, uh, a lot of people, including myself, just weren't all that impressed. But I'm interested to hear your thoughts about this, about Halo Infinite. Did that gameplay trailer really satisfy you? All we saw was basically five minutes of gameplay with the cinematic in the beginning and a cinematic at the end. Didn't see any type of multiplayer. There just wasn't a whole lot there. That's a long time we've waited and not a whole long till this thing releases. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there and I will talk to you later.